Linking sections in Schoology is a terrific time saver. Instead of having to copy content to multiple sections, you will essentially have one master section to manage. You will still be able to have different due dates for your different classes, and the rosters of your classes stay separate, so students won't see discussion posts from others not in their class. Section linking will save time, but I only advise linking your sections at the very beginning of each term, or you run the very real risk of losing student work. Once linked, I don't ever advise unlinking your sections, or again, you will lose student work. Also, section linking is a feature that your system administrator must enable. Sections can only be linked together if they have the same grading periods, same course administrators, and unique student rosters. In other words, one student can't be in two of the same classes. And I'll show you an example of that and how to fix it. To link your sections, you will need to click on Courses, My Courses to view the list of all of your active classes. Sections indented beneath a common course title are eligible for linking since they have the same title and grading period. Let me right click and open these classes in new tabs so you can see that I currently have different content in both of my classes. If I choose to link these, the content in one of the sections is going to be erased and replaced, which means I'll lose all student submissions to any assignments, quizzes, or discussions, which again is why I strongly advise to only link sections before the term starts, never in the middle of it. To link your sections, go back to the courses, my courses list and select the gear icon next to the section you want to become your master section. If all of your courses are currently empty, it really doesn't matter which one you choose as your master. In that case, I would just choose the first one in the list. However, if you've built out one class period's content more than the others, then use that one as your master. After you select the gear icon, choose link existing section. All eligible sections for linking will be displayed. Right now you can see that I cannot link block three. And if I hover over it, I am told that I can't link it because there are duplicate enrollments. This means I have a student enrolled in both block one and that same student in block three. And if I visit the members tab of each section, I can see that Logan Smithson is the student enrolled in both classes. And to fix this, I just need to unenroll him from one of these sections. Now that I've done that, I can go back and try linking my sections again. And this time block three is also eligible for linking, which is great. I'll put a check mark by blocks two and three and then click next. Schoology forces you to download a copy of your gradebook. I will go ahead and download a standard CSV of my empty gradebook. After you have downloaded your gradebook, click link sections. Instead of being listed separately, my classes now display to me like this. Students will see only the name and block of their course that they're assigned to, not the list of all sections that I see. But let's open this new linked course section and see how the assignments and gradebook work. I'm going to create a new assignment. Everything looks the same until I get down to the due date section. If the due date is the same for all of my classes, I can just enter it. But we're on the block schedule, so I am going to need different due dates. For this, choose Select Sections to Customize, and then you can enter the appropriate due dates. You can also customize the visibility of the assignment by class, which is very handy for releasing quizzes at the right time or for completely hiding an assignment that for some reason you're not going to have time to complete in one of your classes. When you're done, just click Create Like Always. You can edit the assignment as needed, but what's great is that you only need to make changes once here instead of in multiple copies in different sections. And when student submissions come in, they will be sorted alphabetically by block, and you will use the drop down menu to toggle between your classes. As I mentioned earlier, in linked sections, discussions still only happen within each class roster. For example, students in block two can only see and reply to posts from other students in block two. When you go to assess the discussion, you'll use the toggle to swap between classes. Similarly, if we visit the gradebook, each roster appears in alphabetical order and you will use the drop down menu to toggle between your different sections. You can technically unlink your sections in that courses, my courses list, but I strongly discourage you from doing so because again, you're going to lose student submissions. But for those of you who still wanna see what happens, I'll go ahead and unlink mine. Again, I'm prompted to download a CSV file of my gradebook before I proceed. 
And once unlinked, my block two and three classes revert back to the status they were in before I linked them to my section one class. Section linking is a powerful time-saving tool for teachers who teach multiple sections of the same class. Just remember to link your sections at the beginning of the term, not in the middle of it, and reap the time savings of only having one section of content to build and manage.